What's going on, O'Doers? My name is Jose Ignacio. Have you ever wanted to generate even more revenue from your loyal subscription customers? What about incentivizing them to go for the highest quality products you have to offer? What if we could do both? Well, with upselling, you can actually just do that. Now I'm sure you're asking yourself, what exactly is upselling? Well, O'Doers, upselling is a sales technique where we encourage our customers to purchase a more premium version of a product than the version they initially intended to buy. In other words, we offer a more premium product that satisfies the same need. This is very different than cross-selling, which is used to identify a different complementary need to fulfill. For example, if our customer is ordering a subscription for a training course on web design, upselling can look like offering an extended version of that course with additional content. Whereas the cross-selling example for that might offer a separate course on maybe graphic design in case that could complement the customer's web design interests. Now, upselling is especially important when it comes to subscriptions because customers may want to change their subscription over time. And that's pretty cool. So Otis Subscriptions app offers tons of tools for handling upselling. So no chit chat, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by going to the subscriptions app, which is right there. And we have our list. We're going to choose a subscription that we want to upsell. In our case, it's going to be the one from Deco Addict. So we're going to go on in there. They happen to have just subscribed to our basic cleaning service. Now, an important note, we can only upsell a subscription that has already been invoiced. If your subscription hasn't been invoiced yet, like this one happens to be here, we just select our create invoice button right there and create a draft invoice. Perfect. And then once it's done, we select confirm. So now this will take you to the customer invoice. So we actually need to use our breadcrumbs to head right on back to our subscription order. Okay, now we're actually ready to upsell. To do that, we actually just click on this nice little upsell button right there and a new sales order or SO for my acronym lovers appears. So here, we can actually confirm this is for an upsell by taking a look at the chatter, which happens to tell us that an upsell order has been created from this subscription. We also have this nice little purple, nice pill-shaped thing there that tells us upsell right there. So we can also see the start date, the date of the next invoice, our expiration date, and a few other things if we check on that chatter, including our MRR and even the name of the quotation template. I like all of that. Okay, enough staring at this chatter. It's time for us to start configuring this upsell order. So right away, we can actually add a quotation template to automatically add items to the quotation for us. If you happen to not see this field right there, like the one that we see right there, be sure to enable quotation templates in the subscriptions app settings. Take a look at the documentation in the video description to see how this is done. So here at Stealthywood, we often upsell from our basic furniture cleaning service to one of our more premium deep cleaning services. So with that in mind, let's use a pre-made template for this upsell. All I have to do is go into standard and select premium. Boom. That's it. So by adding the template, we can actually see the items in the order lines tab change to match the service configured in my template. We can also make any changes to the customer's expiration, which happens to be up at the top, as well as our payment terms, our recurring plan if we would like, and these things if needed. Now, since Deco Addict is only wanting our premium service, we're going to leave all of these things the same. We don't really want to change anything right there. So let's send this off to our customer for their approval by clicking on this send by email button right there. And once again, you will see an email draft appears with a new quote attached. We can change this email however we like. I've been adding smileys to these. And everything looks good now, so we're just going to send this on off by selecting the send button in the bottom left. And now we sit back and we have to wait for our customer to take a look at that. But wait, what if our customer wants to really get their new stealthy wood furniture to shine? I didn't even think about that. What if this premium package isn't even enough? We can also offer them an even more premium, premium cleaning service and let them choose which one they prefer. Now you might be thinking, do I really have to do all of this again to offer an alternative upsell? Nope, not even close at all. You can actually just click on this create alternative button right there up at the top. And we're taken once again to a new one. Wait, and another new one if we wanted to. We could just keep going. But let's go back to the first one. Okay, so here we can change the quotation template in this case to deluxe cleaning. And now it's shown inside of our order lines. Now, once again, we can select send by email. 
And just like that, we can send off our alternative one once again after I add my nice smiley face right there. Send. Okay, now all I have to do is actually wait to hear back from our customer about which ones of these that they want. So as you look at that, Odours, we just heard back from Deco Attic, and it appears that they're a customer of refined taste. And they have decided to go with a nicer cleaning package. How demure of them. So it looks like we're ready to wrap up this upsell order. To quickly get back to the upsell order, we're going to go back into our subscriptions, Deco Addict, select our quote. And remember, I mentioned they wanted a very expensive one. So we're going to give them the deluxe package. And then from here, we happen to be able to just confirm it. That's what they want. And then after we're done with all of that, we could just create our invoice and go from there. So if you want to learn more about how to process the rest of a subscription order, check out the subscription basics video link below. And just like that, we filled out an upsell order in the Odo subscriptions app. Thanks for watching, Odoers. I'm going to catch you in the next video. Go grab a snack, a healthy one.